Hi YouTube family, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am here just to do a quick rant <laughs> and at the same time um, just go over some of my collection. Um, my goal was to um, divide my collection into like showing my speedies then my medium size bags but I just decided um, to bring some bags out because my topic that I'm going to rant about today um, is discussing authentic versus replica bags. Um, I have not been in this community for a long time. If um, you are new here, I started my channel, I want to say maybe two months ago, but I have been watching the, you know, luxury videos, unboxings, reviews for probably maybe about a year now. Um, and then I watched some, you know, bags, different levels of channels. Um, some were, you know, smaller channels, some were the larger channels. And I started learning more about um, luxury and particularly Louis Vuitton. I didn't know some things, but I didn't know a whole lot. So watching YouTube videos kind of helped me to understand and you know know what to look for when I'm shopping for bags or in the Louis Vuitton boutique or store whatever you want to call it so um I have noticed lately which it may not be new it's just new to me and I guess since I've come across different videos I noticed some youtubers content creators and actually just people that com comment, you know, just watch the videos and comment also that some were kind of bashing um, replicas. Uh, I'm not going to name any names. I've seen a few that pretty much just said, oh, it's so wrong. I would never buy a replica bag and it's stealing you know to each his own we all have um our own views about things you know how we feel about things that's your business you know i focus on my thoughts and i buy what i like regardless of what anybody says so if you have watched some of my videos and i'm transparent if it's a replica you know, I've unboxed one on my page that I've shown you from a seller. So you know about my travel bags, those who've been watching my videos, you know about my travel bags. And you know, I've even done an unboxing from Louis Vuitton, from the boutique. So I don't discriminate or judge anyone. Even before I purchased my first replica, I had a family member you know, I had my bag, which was authentic, and she had a replica bag. And she was like, well, you know, it's not real. You know, I know you can tell. And I had to stop her and say, hey, I'm not judging anybody. What you buy with your money is your business. You know, so I'm not, who am I to judge anybody by what they buy? And then I had... um I was watching a video and some people were saying, oh yeah, the people that buy replicas is, you know, they're trying to fake it because they can't afford to buy the authentic, which is not true. Um, I'm pretty sure you guys, at one point they had an article come out about these, this community of women who buy Hermes bags that are replicas. They're not authentic. And these women were rich wealthy women, millionaires. So I just want to say to each his or her own, if you choose to buy that, that's you, that's your pocket, that's your life. Who are you to judge somebody else by what they do? 
And back to the thing, like I said, you have some, not just content creators, other people who comment on these videos and they walk with their nose up saying, oh, I would never. And then some of them, you're walking around with weave and I'm not knocking it because I wear, right now, I told you guys my nails are janky right now. I'm taking a break from um, wearing my fake nails, my press-ons, acrylic, whatever you want to call it, it's fake, you know? So some of these women are walking around worried about if a bag is real or not, but they're wearing fake nails. You're wearing extensions, fake hair. You're wearing fake eyelashes. Some of them have fake bodies. I'm not judging anybody who choose to go and have surgery. You know, that's them. That's what they choose to spend their money on. But who am I to judge them? I don't believe in judging anyone. So are you 100% authentic because your bags are authentic, but everything else about you is fake? Okay. <laughs> I might step on some toes, but I'm just saying I'm stepping on toes because it's these people who are judging others and you should not be judging people. We don't know how these people pay for their bags. Some of them, yes. I'm hoping that they can afford these authentic bags, but some of them might be in debt trying to get authentic bags. You know, some of them might go home and deal with things, abuse and, you know, anything we don't know about. We don't know what happens behind closed doors or what people are going through. All we see is what they choose to show us. But my issue is, who are you to judge? We all, like I said, I'll mention um, a YouTuber. When I first got on YouTube, I saw her videos and I was hooked. And a lot of you guys might know her. She might even be watching. I don't know. <laughs> I am a small channel, new. And with this algorithm, sometimes my video does not show up and people don't see it. But that's not the reason why I make videos. I do it because I like to, you know. And even if it reaches one or two people that might be like, oh, I was interested in that bag. Um, thanks for doing that review. Or I like to see your collection, you know. I'm not here to be well known or, you know, be popular on YouTube. That's not my thing. My real life is my thing. This is just a hobby of mine. But before, let me go back to where I was. When I first got on YouTube, I believe her name is, well, her real name is Layla, Just One Epsy, I think is what her channel name is. And I saw her video and I was like, wow, she's got an amazing collection. And at the time I was strictly Louis Vuitton. I mean, I, that's the majority of what I have anyway, but I wasn't even looking into any other, you know, brands besides Coach, you know, the contemporary brands. But look, as far as luxury, Louis Vuitton was what I was like searching for. So I was watching her videos and I was like, she's got a nice collection. And I know her bags are authentic, but she wasn't the type just, oh yeah, all of my bags are 100% authentic and I would never, you know, she was never like that, even though she might have many, maybe even hundreds of bags. I don't know how many she has, but she has a nice collection of Louis Vuitton bags. And it was great to see someone in the black community, you know, cause you don't see that a lot when, especially when I was on YouTube, I didn't see a lot besides um, Marquita LV Luxury. She was another one that I ran across, but it wasn't a lot that I had seen. And when I ran across her channel, I was like, she is so real. I like her. And then I want to say a few months ago, she actually featured a replica bag on her channel. And I was like, you know what? I knew she was a real one <laughs> because a lot of these people, they're just like, ah, yeah, they always email me. These companies want to send me these replicas and I would never, you know, that's you. Okay. I, I understand. If that's what you choose to do, you do you, you know, but to act like you're above everything and people, these rumors going around, oh, were they doing criminal activity? with your money that you're buying these with, how do you know? Were you there? <laughs> what about some of these other um, authentic companies? Do you know what they're doing with 
your money? No, we don't know. So until you are 100% sure about everything, don't judge others. You know, this, there are some channels that I've come across and like all of their bags are um, dupes or um, replicas, you know, and I have a mix. I have a few replicas and I have a few authentic bags. But I'm not going to be on the fence judging, you know, one of the other. Even if all of my, if I never bought a replica bag, I still would not judge anybody else. But, you know, that's their life, what they choose to do with their money. Or if the brands are sending them, the companies are sending them bags, I'm not going to sit there and hate on them, you know. And also, like I said, I love Louis Vuitton products. I'm not obsessed with Louis Vuitton. You know, this is not my life. At the end of the day, these are bags, purses. It's not my life. I like to carry them. Yes, they look nice. They look pretty sitting on my shelves, but this is not my life, you know? So I'm not gonna get up here and of course not worship my bags. I'm not gonna worship anything that's materialistic, you know? So, you know, to get up here and talk about other people. I'm a business owner. I mind the business that pays me. Those are my businesses. So I'm not going to get up here and worry about what somebody else does or what they buy or judge them or shame them. That's that word right there. Trying to shame other people, you know. And... The same ones will be making a video or commenting on a video as soon as somebody's like, oh, you know, so this is my authentic speedy. And it is not 100% perfect. There are some flaws in here. As you can see, this crease, I've had this bag for over a year. Look at this. They fold their bags in the box. This crease is not coming out. So you got people, oh, just put some steam, get a steam iron and put it on it and do this. And why do I need to do all of that after spending over almost $2,000 on this bag? I am not going to do that. You know, there are some imperfections on this bag. It's not perfect. But they're up there saying, oh, their quality is going down, is going down. And then I have this replica that bad bad word <laughs> this replica that is perfect not a flaw anywhere feels just like my authentic um empreinte leather bag looks like it feels like it but it's a replica so oh no honey you gotta hide that it's all about the authentic, this authentic, imperfect bag with a crease in the front. Like, seriously, who are we to judge others? You know, this is not, I take these bags out, yeah, when I go out to eat, take them to church, you know, hanging out with family it's all good but at the end of the day it's still a bag that i put my stuff in it's not my life so why are we so serious about making a big deal about who's buying authentic and who's buying replica bags and like i said some of these are authentic well you know this one i just said this is from the Louis Vuitton store. But at the end of the day, you can't tell the difference. And I'm not trying to trick anybody. You know, some people, oh, they want to pretend that they have real bags. I have a mix of bags. And I can care less. Somebody come, would have come and ask me, oh, that's nice. Where'd you buy that? Um, the seller, you know, I found on YouTube, blah, 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 blah. And they'll look at me like I'm crazy because I'm saying, oh, it's from the Louis Vuitton store. No, I didn't buy this from Louis Vuitton. 
I'm not ashamed to say I didn't, and I'm not going to front like I did. I can care less. Like I said, I can go in Louis Vuitton and buy this bag if I want to. It's almost $3,000 for this little bag. But did I want to? No. <laughs> I wanted this closet because I know it was going to, it's a classic and it's going to stay. My daughters want it when they get older. I'm going to pass it down to them. But I'm not going to sit there and spend twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 on bags just Oh, you know, it's an investment. No, properties are investments. Houses are investments. You might get, even if you get $1,000 in profit on one of these bags, that's $1,000. Whippy, $1,000. That's not my priority. So who are they fooling with their authentic bags and fake hair and fake eyelashes and fake nails and fake teeth. Veneers aren't real. <laughs> In case anybody didn't catch that, veneers aren't real. They're not authentic. So, but you're gonna judge somebody about a bag and you're wearing fake teeth. I'm not judging you, they look nice. They re look really nice. But they are they yours? No, you, you paid for them. This bag isn't authentic. But guess what? I paid for it. <laughs> okay, rant over. But yeah, while I'm on here, I um will be back to do a what's in my bag for this non-authentic speedy. And I can go, I could have went right on the website and ordered the real thing, which I contemplated because I said, oh, I really like the Speedy 20s. I think I'm going to get an authentic one. But then I was like, well, why should I until I test it out? So guess what? I'm testing the non-authentic out. And if I feel like it's worth the money, I'm going to order it from Louis Vuitton. Or I might not order it from Louis Vuitton. I might take my non-authentic bag with me to the store or wherever I go, choose to go, you know? It's my decision. Or I can take that money and put in my investment account or in my savings. Well, I don't have uh, four digits. I have six figures in my savings account. For those who think we poor people that wear the replica bags, we're poor. No, honey, we're not poor. <laughs> so before, you know, those people that judge others or who might get in the comment, oh, you know, when you show a bag, oh, that's a nice bag. Is it a rep? Honey, what difference does it make? My bills are paid. So whether it's a replica or if I bought it from the Louis Vuitton store, it does not matter. Why do you want to know my business? You're up here to look at my bags. to be. If you want to be nosy, yeah, go ahead and see what's in my bag. That's why I'm showing it. But to be up here just to trying to knock somebody out or try to throw insults. It doesn't work for me because I'm not insulted. I don't care. <laughs> At the end of the day, my family is what matters to me, not what somebody on social media says, you know? But if you really want to know, it's real, it's authentic, but it's sitting right here touching, look at that, touching my non-authentic bag. <laughs> Okay, guys, if you stuck around and wasn't offended by anything I said, give this video a like. Um, if you are only into authentic bags, um, you can still like this video too to help the algorithm. I appreciate that. <laughs> Until next time, take care. Bye-bye.